Welcome to a very summery sort of video. I want to remind you of a holiday, which we all need to be reminded of, because hopefully we'll be going there soon. Very Spanish, patatas bravas. So, little cubes of sort of like chip sort of things. So cubes of potato, don't have a fryer, so we're gonna be doing it all in the oven, so it's a home cooked video. So you need your potatoes, and then it's simple as, you got a garlic alioli, which is basically like a garlic mayonnaise, and then your patatas bravas, which is like salsa bravas. Brava salsa, all these funny words, but technically, it's like a tomatoey sauce, a garlicky mayonnaise, and these lovely little cubes of beautifulness in your potatoes. So, before we get into it, I beg you, please like, subscribe, and comment, and remind you of the holidays, because it does help with the videos. I want people to see them, and basically the more action that happens to them, the more people look and see them. So, let's get into it. First job, get your potatoes peeled, cubed, and boiled. Peel. So I've peeled my potatoes, got a pan of boiling water, but it's not boiled yet, it's cold. And I'm just gonna do them into nice sort of small squares. They're not too small, because we do want crispiness on the outside, and the softest in the middle. And again, I'm not gonna cut them perfectly into squares because you get a lot of wastage. So just about nice sort of, I don't know, how would you describe that? About the size of your fingertip. Double the size of your fingertip. There we are, it's a good summation, isn't it? Drop them in your water. I'm gonna bring them up to the boil. So your potatoes are done. Season your water, get that lightly on the boil. Next job, your salsa. We're gonna be cooking that along with the potatoes. Onion time. We're going to be dicing this very small because it's going to be a sauce. I'm not going to be blending it, so it's very important to get it nice and small. We're just going to knock the root end, slice across, across again. Oh, my eyes, no, 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 no. Put your eyes. I'm crying. So the garlic, we're going to create a nice little paste and I need half for my alioli and half for my salsa bravas. So we're just going to do three of these down, dice them really finely, add our salt, create a little paste and separate them half and half. Pull one aside for your alioli and the other half can go on my plate for my salsa. Right, so take your roots off, cut your garlic down the middle, take that stem out that I've talked about, you'll be able to see it just down there, you want to take that out there, just lifts up, bang on, take that out, you won't get smelly breath. Tip, top chef tip that is. So add your table salt, remember you don't need to season it as much because you're using the salt in here. And you're just gonna mash it all up. There she goes. Next up, your chilies. Nice mild chili. I'm only gonna put one in. Gonna take the top off, cut along the center. Get rid of your seeds. Just flick them all out. Again, we need everything really finely diced. Just cut it into very thin strips. And then really, really thin diced. Next, nearly last but not least, is I've got some cherry tomatoes. I've gone for cherry instead of bigger tomatoes because they're a lot sweeter, so they'll make a nice, nice salsa. It'll be, it'll be a bit more hard work to dice up, but these will mush down. Take your little tops off. Beautiful tomatoes these are. And we're just gonna try and slice them into Really thin sort of strips and then just to really small pieces. And last but not least, we're just going to be slicing a lemon in half. We're just going to use that to squeeze over the top. And I think that's everything that's prepped. Over to the stove. 
So, we're at the stove, let's get cooking. So I've got my potatoes that are just gonna come up to the boil now. Uh, again, nice small potatoes. I'm gonna be boiling them, testing them, so they just need to go a smidge soft. While we're waiting for that to happen, we're gonna be making our salsa. We need a smidge of oil, not too much. We're gonna be sliding our onions in to sweat them down first, and then we're gonna be slowly adding different ingredients cooking it down, reducing it, getting a proper intense flavour. We have got tin tomatoes, tomato puree, I've got a bit of Stokes ketchup and a nice smidge, smidge of that in for a bit of sweetness. A bit of paprika for a bit of a, a, bit of a difference, and then just a bit of seasoning, salt and pepper from our favourites, the Stegen grinders. So, I've got a nice hot pan, I'm going to be frying our onions off to start with. Again, we just want a smidge of colour. The aim is just to soften everything up. And we're going to be getting a lovely, lovely sauce. Again, I'm just going to get a knife just for me to keep testing the potatoes because if we do overcook these, we're just going to turn up with a load of mash. Yeah, and there we are. There are my onions nice and browned off. Again, beautiful, sweet smell. We've used cherry tomatoes. They just have that bit of sweetness compared to your plum tomatoes. And don't be afraid to mash them down. We just want to create a nice little mixture. So, let's add our garlic paste that we created with the salt and our chili. And I'm going to save the lemon juice till a bit later. I don't want that really cooking out. I want a nice vibrant flavour from the lemon. So we're just going to cook all of these off. Get a lovely base. So we've got a little joke while we're cooking to keep us all entertained. What do robots like cooking? Microchips. That's not the joke. That's not the joke because I've missed something out of that. <laughs> here we go. Here goes nothing again. Again, I'm not very good at telling jokes, which is uh, what do robots dip in salsa? Microchips. You probably already knew the answer because the lovely cameraman is probably going to edit the failed joke in. So next on the agenda, we're going to be adding our wet ingredients. So I've got the tomato puree. I've got tin tomatoes. I've got a we want about two tablespoons of the tomato ketchup. We got one, one and a half, really, of the tomato puree. Ketchup. Again, this is going to be a bit awkward. One, two of that. That's just going to add a bit more sweetness. Chopped tomatoes, just a can of them. I've got them from our local butchers. We get used in Italian company. I'm going to whack them in there, like so. I'm going to cook that right down, and that's going to be a lovely salsa. I might add a little bit of basil to finish off once we've cooled it down for a bit of something extra, maybe a bit of an English twist. And that's perfect. We have a lovely sauce. I'm just going to let that simmer for about 15 minutes to bring the flavour in. The last thing I'm going to add is a smidge of paprika. It's going to add a bit of a smokiness, a bit of extra kick. Got this spitting at me now. So let's turn this down one more time. Open this up and add your sprinkle of paprika. Probably about one tablespoon, no more. Our potatoes are ready. Dry them off and get your pan ready with some oil in. I'm gonna be using oil instead of beef fat. You can use beef fat. And we're just gonna dry them off. Don't want any water in them. The purpose, the way to get a nice crispy chip. So you need a nice big pan. You need to mix that oil around and get all the potatoes fully covered. I'm going to quickly add some more salt. No pepper because that will burn. We're just going to toss them up in the oil so we get a nice even coating. Throw. Get them into your preheated oven, which I've forgotten to do. Whack them in at 190 degrees for 25 minutes. Check them, turn them, slide them back in for 10 minutes. You just want that nice golden crispy brown colour. We we'll probably want to take your tomato sauce off very soon because we need to chill that down. So we've got a nice cool salsa with a nice garlic alioli to dip in with these beauties. Okay, so to complete our sauce, it inc smells incredible. We're gonna try it along the way because see if it needs any seasoning or anything else added to it. Don't burn your tongue. Mm. Mm. Sweet, sour, bit of kick with the chili and the uh, and the paprika. Beautiful. Bit of lemon to cut that in. Cut that up. Add a bit of sharpness, and I'm happy with that. Absolutely perfect. Whack that in the fridge and cook your potatoes for 30 minutes.
leaving them in there for one extra minute while we quickly make our alioli. Again, we've got our garlic puree we pureed earlier. I'm going to add a very small amount of Dijon mustard. Probably not even half of a tablespoon, probably a quarter of a tablespoon. Don't want it to have too much of a kick. And we're adding almost five tablespoons of the Stokes mayonnaise and then squeezing in a smidge of lemon. Mixing it all together. So again, five. Again, recipe will be in the link in the description below. You've got your garlic, your Dijon mustard, and your mayonnaise. I'm just going to squeeze the lemon juice over. Perfect sauces. You can imagine you're sat on a Spanish beach somewhere. Here we have our lovely crispy potato chips. And all I'm going to do is pour them onto our plate and spoon a sauce either side. And it's the perfect snack dipping meal to remind you put your mind in Spain. Grab a glass of white wine, I'd recommend. And while you're going to get one of them, please like, subscribe, and comment your favourite holiday. See you soon.